Hey guys, what's happening? Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you with just a little small HO update. Um, it's not much to talk about, but I have brought brought my HO engines back to life. I've uh, been getting those back on the track, like my two Norfolk and Western High Hood 40-2 and 45. And some of y'all have actually seen this engine in a couple of videos. This is an old Atlas locomotive. Um, that I found some time ago. Uh, it's an Atlas locomotive from the 1970s, and this has now been converted into a dummy. So I'm able to put this behind my powered units or wherever in the train. You've actually seen this one and my FEC dummy as DPs. So you're gonna be seeing those two engines around the track more and more. Uh, rolls freely, rolls great freely as a dummy, and um, the weight is actually here on the fuel tank. I think this is a, like a magnesium frame, I think. And um, it's really cool. Uh, family line system, of course. That was um, a holdings company and SCL was parent company. So uh, I've always loved this paint scheme. Now the main attraction for the night is this car that was recently rebuilt. You're probably thinking, where did this car come from? Well, actually this Swift refrigerator car actually was my dad's. He got this back in the late 70s, early 80s. And my dad did HO before, way before I was born and had just a few loops of track and also um, just had some fun. Uh, so this was one of the cars that I actually played with since the fifth grade and some of the other cars that I have around my Christmas set, a few of those in there were also my dad's. So um, it's good to see this car come back to the loop that it was run on many years ago. So it's really good. This has a brand new set of KD trucks and couplers. Uh, that's, that's KD equipped. So that's pretty good. Uh, KD couplers are pretty darn good. Uh, they're pretty well, they're pretty well built and plus it's metal too. So um, it even has the realism as you can see right there i'm just i've always been impressed with the details that kd puts in like the real springs in there and even the die cast metal i've always been impressed with this so you'll be seeing this this car um a lot on a lot on the train and my dad actually put a block of wood in the shell to actually make a weight for it and he told me he got tired of the car <laughs> tumbling off the track so that's what he did is he put a block of wood in there and um, it's run great, you know, ever since my dad did the repair. So I have two reefers now. I've got this one and the the Santa Fe reefer that I've rebuilt uh, earlier um, earlier this year. So, um, yeah, so you'll be seeing this car and some of the other stuff back in action. So um, done a little bit of HO work, not too much, but just getting the engines out and running them a little bit and having some fun. So um, that's pretty much the only updates I have for this video. Um, I do have a, whoops, I didn't mean to slip the camera there, but um, you will be seeing this engine a whole lot more on um, on some of the other applications for the layout. So uh, definitely want to tune in for that. And plus, you'll definitely look at the video that is before this one of the Lash Up Together. So definitely give that video a look. Um, just remember, guys, if you are new to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And please remember to do, uh, give the videos a big thumbs up. Uh, if, um, please leave a comment and please consider subscribing. Um, so uh, all a lot of new videos will be coming out soon. I'm finally able to get back on some some editing now, and um, I'm really looking forward to getting back into the studio. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.